good day everyone. Been a little while since I've done one of these. Today I'm going to be talking about the rapture. And uh, this book right here, Dr. David Jeremiah, The Great Disappearance, is actually the book that is sparking uh, why I'm doing this. And so the Great Disappearance, talking about the pre-tribulation rapture, davidjeremiah.org, Turning Point. Uh, they are a very well-known and respected uh, Protestant Christian ministry. Uh, David Jeremiah, been around a long time. As you can see here, you know, today's they have devotionals, they're on the radio, they're on television. Uh, you can join the Bible Strong Mission. Um, so anyway, this is, uh, this is what they have going on here. This is their website. And a friend of mine had, uh, basically, he, he had made, said that, made a post said that this book is a good book and uh, anyway I I challenged that and I basically I I challenged not just the book I, I challenged the pre-tribulation rapture and I, I think it's a deception and we're gonna go through uh, what the this ministry here and pretty much all ministries or anybody that uh, believes the pre-tribulation rapture it's everybody believes it the same way because it's, they are they're all using the same Bible and uh, it's the same same doctrine so uh, this is not to put anybody down this is hopefully to just get us to open our eyes and and uh, to see truth here so Let's go through and see some truth. And uh, anyway, so my friend had emailed this organization and they gave him a response. And here's the response. Uh, Thank you for contacting Turning Point and for your confidence in our mis ministry. We appreciate you taking the time to write and ask about the rapture. Always remember that you do not have to expect all theologians, pastors, Bible teachers, and students to have a common agreement. Agreement on timelines, future, future personages, and nuances of prophecy is secondary to knowing that the Lord of Glory will return. The outcome of prophetic study is to ask God to build within us a holy urgency to pursue God's will with rekindled fire and fresh zeal. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by this sentence here. The outcome of prophetic study is to ask God to build within us. So, <clears throat> So prophetic study is doing something, and then the result of that is doing something else. That's going to ask God to build within us a holy urgency to pursue God's will with rekindled fire and fresh zeal. Okay, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on, I need to pause this. Excuse me, just mute it. Anyway, um, that that's just a... I don't quite know what to make of this, but okay, let's, let's pursue God's will with rekindled fire and fresh zeal, and let's actually dig into the scriptures. Uh, as you study biblical prophecy, note the differences between rapture from the original Greek verb harpazo, or rapio in Latin, and the second coming, or second advent of our Lord. So here, they just say, as you study biblical prophecy, note the differences between the rapture, which 
It's just from the original Greek verb harpazo and the second coming or the advent of our Lord. So I would say that the harpazo is simply a portion of the second advent of the Lord. So it seems like even here in this sentence, they're just saying, well, the word rapture, they're, they're basically saying that rapture is like its own thing, and then there's a second coming. And then they go on to, to say the, they make a list like here's the three things that the verb harpazo contains at least these three elements so now they're they're basically they have kind of made the the conjunction or the the correlation between a the doctrine of the rapture and the verb so simply the verb here the Greek verb harpazo contains at least these elements. To carry off by force, nothing will stand in the way of Christ retrieving his own. Okay, well, nobody argues that. To claim one, to claim for oneself eagerly, Christ has purchased us with his own blood and will be eager to claim that which is his. Okay, so that's a statement made by them, basically with there's no biblical backing for this other than now they're just saying, well, this Greek verb contains at least these elements. Uh, well, and so I guess they're saying because the that verb contains to claim for oneself eagerly, then now they're all of a sudden saying, well, Christ has purchased us with his own blood, and he will be eager to claim that which is his. And they're, they're saying this like definitive, like, okay, well, we know this, <laughs> uh, you know, as if it's, it's biblical. Um, when they are straight up admitting that it, this is all just coming from the the word rapture, the original Greek word, and then they're saying the second coming, and then they make the second one down here, the second coming. So anyway, let's just go on. Number three, to rescue from the danger of destruction. This refers to the promise Christ made that his church would be kept from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world. Revelation 3.10. So, how do they know that one of these three elements of this one word refers to Revelation 3.10? They give absolutely no basis for why they even say this. They just make this statement like it's 100% a given fact. Like, okay, there we go. Um, and nothing to back it up except for Revelation 3:10, which anyway, I'm not even gonna. We're not, I'm not even gonna. Actually, we may as well just look up the verse here. The, so we're gonna do this. This is gonna be a long video because most people are not gonna go through the email and look at the verses and actually try to verify the claims because we just saw. You know, it's right here. It, this is Dr. David Jeremiah. Of course, he's a doctor. He's been around for 40 years. Look at this ministry. Look at these books he's written. I mean, my goodness, how in the world could it be so popular if he was so wrong? Well, we're going to go through this here. Uh, okay, so what was that? Revel uh, Revelation 3.10. There it is. So. We're going to go to Bible Hub, and we will go to Revelation 3.10. Okay, we have a bunch of different translations here. 
Because you have kept my commandment to preserve, I will also keep you from the hour of testing that is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Okay, so that one verse in Revelation says that, let's just read it again, going to keep us from the hour of testing that is about to come upon the whole world. So, obviously, most people think that is the time of tribulation. So I'm not going to break that down any further. We'll just leave it there but yeah anyway there's a whole lot of assumption here like an entire doctrine based on a Greek verb that contains at least these elements now since they tell us what the verb is let's just go We'll also use, this is again, Blue Letter Bible, and I just looked up Harpazzo here, okay, and we're going to look at, this is the Strong's Concordance, so now we can go through and we can find all the other places where this one verb is used, and we'll see how this, this is used here. It's, you know, and here we go, original word, and I don't, I don't, no Greek or anything, but I I know enough to be able to at least say, okay, here, hey, I have these tools here. Let me see if Mr. If Doctor Man is telling me the correct thing, you know, just like the the other doctors that we see that wear white coats that are telling us all how wonderful gene therapy is, and we're finding out that it's not necessarily the case. So, you know, we could go through and look these up, but I. I'm ta I'm hopefully I'm talking to some people that have actually been studying this a while and some of these things like we're not going to have to look at the exact verse but you'll know the story or you'll know the little passage enough to go oh yeah okay I've I've heard that one I know what what they're talking about just just by this so Matthew Matthew eleven twelve and violent men take it by force, take it by force, the violent seize it by force. Okay, well, that one, I don't necessarily know. Let's just check it out. Uh, we'll open up another tab. We will once again go to, well, here, we'll just use Revelation. We don't need to do that. So, Matthew, and if I, the thing is, if I start clicking on this one here it takes me over into the Greek parallel and so you go through every single Greek word which we're not going to do that right now and I don't know how to make it just go to say like this without uh, going to another one. Anyway, I guess I know I already want to go to Matthew 12, 29. Well, that's the next one. Who is powerful to enter the house of a strong man and plunder his goods? So that's enter the house, plunder his goods. So that is the harpazo word there, right? That's their house, carry off his property. And this is probably another thing. Come in, to a violent man, take it by force. Harpazo. Uh, catches it so the evil one snatches away. That Oh, that's when, this is basically when he was, the, the birds, it was the parable of the, the sower and the birds. And uh, the evil one snatches away. So harpazos them. Oh, wait a second. So let's go back here to the email and it says to rescue from the danger of destruction but here it's taken by force huh okay well that's not keeping from the danger of destruction 
carry off his property, plunder, huh, interesting. Well, that's not at all to rescue from danger of destruction. I mean, that's one, that's, you know, that Greek verb contains at least three of those elements, right? At least three. There's probably more because there are. Um, taken by force, you know, the wolf, oh, catches them. Wow, there's the wolf, man, he, that, he snatches them away. That's not, <laughs> you know, so there's lots of different ones. In fact, the only one that even is used in reference to the rapture out of all of these, let's just go through again. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Oh, we remember that. That's the one where, uh, you know, we're assured of our salvation because no one can snatch them out of their out of the hand. Um, see, here it is again, John, the, the other one. No man is able to put, no one is able to seize out of the hand. So harpazo, seize out of the hand. Uh, here, the spirit of the Lord carried away Philip. Oh, so... Philip got snatched up, and this is an act, so that was when he must have uh, gotten snatched up and landed next to the uh, the eunuch or whatever. That was probably then, so he was harpazoed then. He was carried away. Uh-oh, not raptured, though. Let's see. Take him away by force among... So this is acts. Oh, this must... Oh, so this is when... Uh, Acts the Paul that's the troops he come and take Paul by force there and Acts so Harpazo I don't think the troops were rapturing Paul um, Corinthians oh this again is when Paul was talking about a man now some scholars think he was maybe talking about himself here and he didn't know if he was alive or dead having been caught up so there maybe he was raptured but not like raptured at the rapture uh, so let's see oh and here it is first Thessalonians 4 17 all that remain will be caught up raptured that's where they get that harpazo right here because, you know, pulling them out of the fire, iron was cut. That's that's the only places that it's used. And it's only used like that the one time in reference to the rapture pre the second coming of Christ. So now that we have looked at Strong's Concordance and seen everywhere that Harpazo is used in the New Testament... Let's continue on here. We we did that and we'll we'll continue on with what they're with what they say. Here's the second coming of Christ. Thus saith the Lord, my God will come and all the saints with you. Zechariah fourteen five. Okay, um perhaps that's talking about it. I'm not even gonna go to Zechariah fourteen five right now. I mean because if it is talking about the second coming of Christ, fine. It's talking about the second coming of Christ, coming with all his saints. Um, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. 1 Thessalonians 3.13. Let's go there and look at that. Uh, well, Facebook, no. Good grief. Terrible. <laughs> I don't know why I click so weird. Anyway, here we go. Um, what was I looking up? Nah, good grief. Can't believe I did that. Anyway. First uh, Thessalonians 3.13. Oh, that's not going to do the I. Okay, first, that's three, thirteen. Okay, so, 
I like the Berean and the King James. In order to strengthen your hearts, blame his holy for the Father coming, the coming of our Lord with all his saints. Amen. Okay. Okay, so Jesus comes Jesus comes with all his saints. I guess that's what he's going to be saying. Hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints. Jude one fourteen. Okay, so I don't really know what their exact point is to tell you the truth about the second coming of Christ other than it's the second coming of Christ. <laughs> so there's that. The rapture comes for his saints. Okay. First Thessalonians 4. Let's go to First Thessalonians 4. And how do we then go to verses? Hmm. Uh, okay, First Thessalonians four. And what was their verse? Sixteen and seventeen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be ever with the Lord. Okay, so... Let's just see what he's talking about here. Let's we're going to back up a bit. Um no, preach your brother, increase more and more, quiet on your business, do it. Walk honestly. Okay, so basically now he's just saying don't be ignorant about those that are asleep, those that are dead. And Okay, so those people are going to rise again, and then, which, those of us that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Okay, um, where does that have to do with pre-tribulation? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, he comes in the air. Yeah, we just read that. Believers depart the earth. Okay, Christ claims his bride. Now there's they don't give they don't give a scripture reference for that. So, let's just go and we will just put in keyword and we will put in bride. Revelation 22, John, okay, well, let's, since, since we know Revelation 22 is way near the end, we'll just go there. The Spirit and the Bride say, come, and let the one who's here comes, thirsty, wishes, free, oh, that's not what, I don't know what that one is, let's see, Revelation Oh, lamp will shine again, the bride. Well, no, that's not what we're looking for. Does anyone forget a bride? No. Hmm. Where does, let's see. Come. Oh, Revelation 21.9. Let's see. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said come to me I will show you the bride the wife of the lamb let's look and see what's going oh new heaven and new earth wait a second uh 
I don't know how hmm okay hold on I will show you the bride the wife of the lamb and he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God has shown with the glory of God and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel huh. so seems to me that this angel here was saying hey come on I'm gonna show you the bride the wife of the lamb all right but this happens in a new Jerusalem the bride of the lamb huh well that's what the Bible says so Christ claims his bride and that happens in what we just read there Revelation 21 so since they've you know this doctor couldn't give us a reference there we had to go look for it ourselves on blue letter Bible there are no signs it is imminent now hold on because the very first verse that they gave us for the rapture was first Thessalonians 4 16 and 17 which let's just go back there and read that again uh, what was that I can do this first Thessal oh whoops on second Thessalonians first Thessalonians 4 uh, four. Wow, this is cool. Uh, sixteen and seventeen. Okay, for the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. Wow, and that's not a sign. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That seems like a pretty big sign. Um, and not only that, what are all the other signs that are talked about over in Matthew 24 when they're asking Jesus, Hey, Jesus, what are going to be the signs of your return? And he goes on and he says all his stuff, you know. Those are the signs, guys. Those are the signs of his return. But he said, oh, don't, you know, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, so then again, they use the, the same two verses. Christ gathers his own. Christ comes to reward. Not in the Old Testament. Well, the rapture, rapture, not in the Old Testament. Could it be because you're making up an entire thing off of a single Greek verb that contains at least three of those elements? Is that the reason why it's not in the Old Testament? <laughs> and why it's like, I don't know, um, a time of blessing and comfort? Well, yeah, of course, because you've just gone through a bunch of crap and those are that are alive and remain wow um, involves believers only well uh, that's a claim let's see well, let's go here and see what they say John 14 1 through 3 John 14 1 through 3. Hmm. And I go to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may be where I am. For you know the way to the place where I am going. Or you know the way to the place where I am going. Huh. Uh, okay, so... I don't know that that necessarily I don't necessarily know that that is saying it involves believers only but let's let's go um, 
1 Corinthians 15. Corinthians 15, and they were saying 50. I declare unto you, brothers and sisters, flesh and blood, we will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. That's a pretty big sign. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with imp Okay. Mm, death has been swallowed up in victory. Okay. Uh, let's see what the claim was again here. Involves believers only. Again, I, I don't know. That's. Excuse me, I need to. I don't. I don't know. It involves believers only. That's debatable. Will occur in a moment in the time it takes to blink. Only his own will see him. Well, wait a second, because it's saying at the last, the, the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. If the trumpet's going to sound, that's when all kinds of stuff happens. I don't understand how they make the leap that only Christians see it. That it just that just seems to me to be quite a leap that I'm not prepared to take. Christ comes as the bright and morning star, Revelation 22. Okay, well again, that doesn't fit your timeline in Revelation 22. I mean, come on. Do we need to go back to Revelation? Revelation 22. <sighs> what did it say? 22.16 And Jesus, I have sent me this testimony. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Huh. And that is supposed to be in conjunction with the rapture. I mean, this... Honestly, I don't even really think I need to go too much further into this just to show how just just how off this stuff is. I mean, you know, I could go through and and continue, but really they're they're breaking things up into into two different things that don't need to be broken up and they're clearly giving references for things that are just not even in the realm of what they're saying so I don't know if they're not reading the the scripture or what but there you have it folks this is um, what is being like passed off so here we go. We're going to we're going to just look now. Many people have questions. You know, I'm not even going to go through this because this is off too and I don't need to I don't even want to continue on this. I I would hope that this would be enough for some of the people at Jeremiah's place to go, "Man, you know, what's going on with that?" 
and then we're going to go here what is the rapture and and we're going to see like why why what does it matter the rapture is perhaps one of the most important piece of prophecy for us to understand since it could very well impact us personally so these people clearly think it's one of the most important things and i'm telling you if you think that you're getting out of here before all the bad stuff happens because the trusted people like this guy here or he's a man of god and of course he knows his bible right but come on come on this is what passes for for biblical scholarship nowadays like most people won't even take the time to go through stuff like this i mean right now how long am i into this i'm like 35 minutes into this and i've only gone through just the beginning you know so nobody is sitting here going for a half hour through this stuff even let alone everything else so they can just put whatever they want here and they can make these statements you know most people aren't even going to get past the the breakdown here of like they're going to look at this and go oh yeah so the the bible totally talks about the rapture and everything else that that book was talking about because the the verb harpazo was used one time one time out of all of the different times that it's used in conjunction to the rapture and then they they pick the the three you know one of at least three attributes to say this is this then supports our entire doctrine here which I quite frankly it's why I I do not attend uh like you know regular churches and whatever because most of them most of the people they're good people and everything but then they believe this kind of you know they think that they have the doctor you know doctor so and so told us this and they went to this school and that school and whatever else and and then you get these awesome detailed responses you know with cool cool looking references and and but it's like when you really you know start turning over a few leaves and actually delving into what they say it's like it doesn't it just doesn't all add up so you know start just reading your bible by yourself without having to have some other book tell you about what it says <laughs> it's amazing so anyway thanks guys and have a good one if you made it all this way god bless thank you good night